Right, so today we're going to look at the uh, skills-based things. In this case, it's the divided bar graphs. Sometimes these come up. They're alternatively known as compound bar charts. Now, I've got an example of one here. And first of all, you need to be able to understand how to interpret them. And you're very simple. So, for instance, this one has got different sites. We've got six sites of what looks like uh, pebbles. And each site, they collected 25 pebbles. And so I can tell at site one of the 25 pebbles, there were so many, so there were 15 sphere shaped. And there were then, in terms of like the disc shape, there were 22 here, so 22 take away 50. So there were seven disc shape, uh, which leaves me with one, two, three rod shaped stones. So I can tell that just simply by looking at the front the way the bar has been divided. Sometimes you get to have to complete your own one. So here, for example, we've got a blank bar, we've shown the percentage, zero to 100, and we've got a series of different ways of the energy. So all you do, so the first one is dead easy, so the call will be from zero to 30, so we find zero. Be careful to draw along to 30, draw your ruler down, and you draw it. Cool. 30%. Now, the next one is where people sometimes go wrong. So to work out the gas, gas is not there. It's not 20% there. So it's 30 plus the 20. So I've got my 30 there. So I want 10, 20. So therefore, I will draw my line here. That would be gas, 20%. And there's some, quite often they have some shearing, so they might have had a shearing pattern, which you would have to follow. Again, and wind 10%, so that would be 50 plus 10, 20, 20. hydroelectric power 30, and then the last one should be 10 like that. So that way. So 10%. and that would be the wind 10%. And that is how you complete a divided bar graph.